Knowing that my friends Steph and Veronica would talk behind my back with Young Hollywood, the one person who disrespected me has me questioning everything. But it also makes me question myself. Am I this crazy, oversensitive girl that they accuse me of being? I need some advice from someone that I know has walked in my shoes before. Okay. We got I think it. we got it, yes. Oh my god, hi! Juju and I grew up together in Miami and she's back in town for a photo shoot for her hair extension line with my girl, Simply Jess. As a fellow beautiful Afro-Latina woman in the spotlight, Juju can relate in a way that Veronica and Steph obviously can't. Yo, I knew you were like a super, super amazing promoter, but I didn't know you do photography. I know. I'm dying to see the pictures. I'm dying to see the pictures. I seen them from far away. Hey. It looks good from but there. Don't be looking. Yeah, don't look I'm at gonna, I'm gonna go and look at it real quick. I'll be right back, okay? And I'm sorry I came in the middle of your photo shoot, no, but I, I did want to see you. Of course. Is mama? Hi, mommy's good. Thank you for asking. Sure. She be watching all your pictures on. Oh, oh my gosh. What's yeah. been going on with you, girl? I, I've been a little stressed out. Why? Um, I've wanted to do the crossover for like the longest time, and there's this producer named Young Hollywood. Okay. I meet him, and the first thing that he does when I walk in is tell me the reasons why I'm not gonna make it because of the way that I look. Either you're too black to be Latina, or you're too, your hair is too nappy, yeah. and you know, you need to be more well, and less, you know. Wait, 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 he wait, was wait, on what? that type he of thought your hair was nappy? Basically, yeah. We're Afro-Latinas, we're here to stay, and we have little girls looking up to us. Don't think because I'm doing this wig line, girl, that I don't let my afro out, and I go out to the street, wash and go, and my hair just I sticks. I ain't watching you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I go to the gym with my hair, ya tu sabe, because I'm proud of my roots, and my yeah. parents didn't come here to the United States to so forget that side. You know, I'm Afro-Cuban, I'm right. Afro-Latina, and that is what it is. And here's the thing. I don't have a problem changing. I don't have a problem with change. It's just that I'll do it whenever I feel that I'm ready. Not when somebody tells me. Exactly. My Afro-Latina identity is such a huge part of who I am. And I know Amara is the same way. I don't ever want to see this industry beat that out of her or any other young woman. I want her to be proud and embrace her identity with whatever makes her comfortable and makes her feel beautiful. You know what? I want to be here. I want to support you. I have my makeup artist here. I can get Jess, and we can do a photo shoot right now. Mira, ella hay four pelucas. Te pones tu peluca, but you're showing. I love the skin I'm in. I'm beautiful. I can change it, and then I can pick up my fro and be back to Amara La Negra. Actually, that sounds pretty good. I knew Juju would understand. Listen, my issue has never been about changing my hair. It's never been about the hair. It's about someone telling me that I have to change. How I choose to present myself and represent my culture isn't for anyone to dictate. Thanks for watching, and if you like that video, subscribe to see more videos like this.